let's talk about Spiral Dynamics Stage Orange. This is my second video out of three, covering off the three main stages of Spiral Dynamics that I feel like I have gone through in my life. You can check out my Stage Blue video, I'll put it in the iCard above, round about now, and you can also check out the playlist of Spiral Dynamics that I've done so far, which covers off what it is, uh, the first tiers from uh, the start all the way through to green, uh, starts with beige, goes all the way through to green, and then the second tier, which is yellow, um, turquoise, and car coral. So you can check those videos out. I'll link them uh, in the i cards above throughout this video. But in this uh, episode, I wanted to talk about Spiral Dynamic Stage Orange. So what is Spiral Dynamic Stage Orange? Well, if you haven't watched my other videos or know anything about Spiral Dynamics, I'll give you a quick brief overline. Stage Orange is more of a I stage of Spiral Dynamics. And this one really is just all about kind of yourself and success. In fact, you could even say that my whole Struggling to Succeed channel is a, an expression of Spiral Dynamics Stage Orange because it's about improving yourself to get better in life and it's about dr driving to better results, it's about imp uh, continuous improvement and that really is something that speaks to Spiral Dynamics Stage Orange. It's very individualistic, it's all about improvement and it's all about being better. So some overviews, where in the world or where have we seen Spiral Dynamics Stage Orange so you can understand it before I talk about my own experience with it. Okay, so where have we seen this before or where has it come from or where are we currently living in it? Well, it really started off with the Renaissance period all the way through the Industrial Revolution and then we saw a massive kind of maybe spike off it around the world at the post-World War II uh, resurgence when uh, you know economies grew, especially in the United States and, and in Europe. If you live anywhere in Europe or anywhere in the United States, your countries are really driven by spiral dynamics stage orange. Stage orange is entrepreneurial, stage orange is more profits, more success, um, I improve myself because I want to be better and as I mentioned about my channel being Stage Orange, the whole personal development industry is 100% an expression of Spiral Dynamics Stage Orange. I've got some notes here that I'm just going to refer to so I hit off some of the actual uh, educational or correct information points here. So uh, responsible for your own wealth, that's why you develop your skills, that's a key header for Spiral Dynamics Stage or Orange. Um, it's also where we would see, I had this conversation with people and I'll touch the brief on it, but a lot of people, um, or I've had conversations with a number of people within Canada uh, who are stage green and maybe above or around that. And they have a sort of a negative uh, viewpoint on capitalism where I don't. Uh, and it's not because I'm stage orange, it's because I've kind of got to the stage of my life where I understand it's not capitalism that's broken, it's people who are in stage orange who want to exploit capitalism which is broken and unfortunately that's a lot of people in a lot of organizations, especially um, in massive corporations that are more results driven, they're more driven by figures and actuarial uh, charts over the, over what damage they're doing to the environment, over what damage they're doing to people's lives by low, pay, low paying them or having them work in, in shitty factories in countries that have worse laws than us. A lot of them could uh, have factories in the United States or Canada or Europe, but they choose not to because that's going to eat into their into their profits. Okay, so I don't want to get too much into the, the, the bad side of Spiral Dynamics. This isn't really, uh, sorry, Spiral Dynamics Stage Orange because this isn't what this video was about. Uh, the series of videos that I'm doing are really talking about my experience. Um, but I will just finish off before I get into where, where I think I've come through this is that if you're Stage Blue, and uh, you might be triggered by orange people because your view of being stage blue and your view of people who are stage orange is that they bend the rules for their own benefit. So example, uh, it, a lot of people have this opinion that all rich people or all business people must be cheaters because they kind of bend the rules or they break away from the family unit or the organizational unit to go out on their own to make their own money and a lot of people who are who are very much more in the blue sense will actually have that opinion of wealthy people. Also on the green side, it, what green people can be, green stage, uh, green spiral dynamics people can be triggered by 
stage orange people because they think they're egotistical uh, they don't care about others and, and not really focusing on the environment or population impact so where sta stage blue people will look at it more of a you're cheating where stage green will look at it is you're just fooling yourself and you're just going after the almighty, the almighty dollar or some sort of result and you're not thinking about the end results anyway on to me and how I feel like I've traveled through orange or are currently I'm still in orange because of my channel. Uh, I feel like I'm um, in stage orange or kind of phasing out of stage orange into green or I'm mostly in green because of my political views or my thoughts or where I've come from. But I think that's a move. This move into green for me is something that's probably happened in the last couple of years, four or five. Uh, I know that I used to be in blue, that's what I talked about in the previous video, uh, growing up in Northern Ireland, and then I moved into orange because I went to university, uh, kind of didn't know what to do, really out on my own, breaking away from the family unit, uh, can control my own life, fell into orange maybe a little bit in my mid to late 20s when I started like really focusing on being better at selling, and then I noticed as I was getting better at selling, I could make more money, and definitely in my 30s, up until about 35, I really drove myself pretty hard within commission sales um, and really tried to sell as much as I could. And I would, and I'm being honest here, uh, in stores that I worked in and in, in uh, environments that I worked in, I, I would push in front of people. I would do tricks. I would try to manipulate situations so I could make more money. I would uh, maybe use... Uh, uh, selling techniques that that maybe I knew were a little bit on the sort of edge but you know to most sellers it's just what you do you know selling showing people a super expensive item first of all uh, and then um, showing them a slightly cheaper one and then they think the cheaper one is a better offer because there's no way they could afford the really expensive one but the, even the cheaper one that you offered them was probably more than they wanted to spend quick example someone comes in to buy a $500 jacket you show them a $5,000 jacket, but then you settle on selling them a $1,500 jacket, something that's very common within a men's luxury sales. So I doubled or tripled what the person wanted to spend, giving me more commission. Now, a lot of people in sales might say, well, that's just business, baby. That's just business. But this person might have had a budget. Their, might, their wife or their partner might have said to them, hey, you only, can only spend $500. But I used a little bit of a, hey, my name's Steve, how can I help you? Uh, sales techniques on them uh, to make them more money. So eventually, uh, towards the end of my commission-based selling career, I actually started to see through the cracks of the sort of results-driven uh, you know, sales trickery. And I, I think selling's great, I think uh, marketing's great, I think selling is, uh, is about uh, influencing people, and I think that marketing is about storytelling, and I love telling stories, and uh, I have, over 700 subscribers, not a lot, but obviously I'm able to story tell enough that 700 people were interested enough to click the subscribe button. Even though I'm not making any money off that, I see that as a small transaction where I've influenced over 700 people to click subscribe so far on my channel. It's not a massive thing to be proud of, but I am proud of it because I've obviously done something right in there. And that's why my channel and YouTube itself and the whole results driven thing and the whole subscribe and the whole put more videos out, you'll get more success is a very much an orange uh, uh, theme of spiral dynamics. It's, you know, you really are in a system of more likes, more videos, um, better improving yourself through analytics uh, to produce better videos. And it, it is a, expression and an experiment of spiral dynamic stage orange. So I've traveled through that. I've worked through it. I now work in a different environment. I work in a more socialist uh, organization where my wage and my pay isn't really down on how much I sell. My wage and my pay is really down to the value that, uh, that I create on a daily, weekly, monthly basis within the organizations that I work and the, and the projects that I work on. So that's what I focus on now is creating value for people uh, over creating results that then equal profit for me. And I, and I actually prefer working like that uh, because I actually feel better about myself. And I think that's because I've evolved into uh, a bit more of a green spiral dynamic green stage. And that's the next video I'm gonna talk about in the series, talking about how I've traveled through the three main categories of spiral dynamics. Obviously I wanna end up yellow, but I don't think I'm there yet. Uh, I've traveled through blue, talking about orange, and my next video, I'm gonna talk about yellow. I really appreciate you watching all the way through stage. I'll obviously post the other videos or link them or put them in the iCards above to my other spiral dynamics videos. Um, 
Uh, I'm going to produce one more and then I might do a wrap up on spiral dynamics and move on to other topics on uh, uh, on my channel for the next few months because I feel like it's taken me a long time to get through these videos uh, with uh, life happening and, and just really trying to think about what I wanted to say in these videos as well. So uh, stream of consciousness uh, about a top subject that I think is really important. If you haven't had a chance to check out any books by spiral dynamics, I highly recommend them because I think they're a lot deeper, hell of a lot deeper than what I'm touching on here and can really help you understand how to interact with the world and also how to see the world. And then as a result of that, you get less triggered by the world. So it's great. Anyway, thanks very much for watching all the way through to this point. Really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Gotta love the analytics. Spiral Dynamics Stage Orange, give me more results, please. And we'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Make it a good one.